Hey everyone, it's Simplicity and welcome back to a new video. Today we have the Postal Mod where you can send mail to your Sims. So this is a new edition. It was posted on January 30th and it had it sent to me on Tumblr. But I haven't had the chance to sit down and make a video until today. So you can send a post to any sim in town as long as they're resident. You buy stamps, envelopes, and packages. And it says that you can like send it from like the postal mailbox as well. Um, you can write checks, you can work the register, you can hire sims. And you can also work at it, which I think is kind of cool. And then it tells you where everything is located, so you've got... Right, so I went ahead and hopped into game. So currently I'm in the world of Redwood Harbor, just because they already had some like reserved lots over here. So we're going to go ahead and let Skylar head on over there. And I slightly turned it into a post office, but it's not the greatest. And I would have built a post office lot, but I can't build community lots. So I'm kind of hoping that somebody actually like build one because as you can see I literally just put down everything that I need in here and that was it. So the open hours right now I'm actually gonna hop into settings set days off and I'm gonna remove Sunday just because for the purpose of this video I would like to have mail today um, and then we're gonna go to settings again. So to hire an employee you have to close the register which is fine so I'm going to quickly go ahead and hire an employee. I'm just going to do Daryl just because I put him down in the town literally for the purpose of this video. And then I'm going to go ahead and open the register. There we go. So we're going to let it load up. So out here we have the little letter box as well. You have to buy stamps and everything to be able to do it, which I think is cool. So you can do puzzle stamps and letter stamps for either single or a pack of five. So I think it's quite cool. I think I'm going to go ahead and just buy the packages for the purpose of the video. Um, all right. So then I can go ahead and buy a check as well. They cost $5 or five simoleons, sorry. Um, puzzle boxes are seven simoleons. And then you can also go ahead and buy an envelope for five simoleons. So it's not too bad. So it all shows up in your inventory. It shows up as unlabeled. Um, it's all just really Okay. I probably should have let the game load up. I apologize. That is completely my fault. So, really quickly, I've slightly played around with it just to kind of see how it worked before filming this, but I still don't really know a whole lot. So, I'm going to go ahead and set the name. So, it says to, like, the sim that it's addressed to, who it's from, and a message of you're choosing. I am just going to kind of probably just go, like, really basic so we'll do like Daryl from Skylar and then just say like hi. I don't know. Um, I don't really know what else to say because I don't know some list shows. I would have probably tried to edit it like that. So you have like letter packaging, which I think is cool. Um, we've got the packs here. This down here is the check. So I can go ahead and like address that to Daryl. And then we can do a check amount. So, let's say I was doing, like, child support. I just do, like, 500 simoleons. And we can actually cash the check, which I think is weird. Whenever it's addressed to somebody else. But it's fine. I'm going to actually go ahead and see if I can do it this way. If I open the letter packaging and put the check inside of it. I don't know if this would still function. Um, buy some letter stamps first. Well, I have some. But... I kind of want to see how everything works. So let's go ahead. We'll buy a single one just for right now. And then we'll buy a postal stamp for the single one as well. Ooh, they're different colors. Okay, that's kind of cool. So we have the stamps right here. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, put your envelope in the register. So you have to open up the inventory and then put that in here. So you can only do one thing at a time, which is fine. So we'll go ahead and send a letter. Just see how that goes. So we'll send it to Daryl. Okay, so it said that it was supposed to do his household. So there's that. And then, um, really, my game is just, this is completely my fault. I'm sorry. So I'm going to actually go ahead and see if I can open this. We'll put the camera in it just because it's in our inventory. Why not? Um, we will set the name for Daryl. 
I know he's got a last name, but you know, it's fine. And if I come out here, okay, so out here you can only do letters, which is understandable. Um, so let's go ahead. Okay. Um, I also, I don't know, I kind of put some stuff down just randomly, but if I put this in here, and then I can send a parcel as well. Get off your phone. All right. So we'll go ahead and send that to Dale. All right. So it just kind of quickly said that it's posted. So I don't know if it just randomly shows up in the inventory or how all that works. I'm not sure. Um, so let's go ahead and buy another little letter stamp. So I can see how the one outside works. Um, if I open my inventory... I don't have any envelopes, but I can actually open up the packages here so you can click on them and open. So now we have six of the letter stamps, which I think is cool, that it actually like stacks it. And then we can go ahead and open this as well. So there we go. Um, all right. So again, I'm going to have to go ahead and get an envelope, but we'll go ahead, hop in here. Uh, da, da, da. Is it a uh, nope? It's packaging. So we'll go ahead and buy an envelope. Oh, bless you. And then we can come over here, open inventory. Actually, I should probably set a name on it first. Um, so again, I'm just gonna do it today from Skylar. And let's get fancy. And I'm gonna write hello in French. There we go. And then we can come out here, open inventory, put this in here. And then we can come over here and send a letter this way as well. So it is a pretty cool mod. I feel like it'd be really good for... Um, but I feel like it'd be really good for storytelling and, like, child support if you were to just, like, do it that way. Instead of having it where it just automatically gets deducted. And I just, I feel like it's actually really useful and could be a really good mod. So I will have a link for it down in the description if you're interested. But I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I feel like that was super short. But I don't want to, like, I feel like I've shown off, like, the basic capabilities of this mod. I do know that there is some more in-depth ones if you're looking for that. But here's just a nice little short one. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up right here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you can go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can subscribe. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you're already subscribed and want notifications when I post, you can go ahead and hit that bell. The link for the download of this mod will be in the description. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye, lovelies.